Okay, this is another video on Exchange 2010, Exchange Server, Microsoft Exchange Server 2010. This is for my class. And we're learning the basics, just beginners, on learning how to use Microsoft Exchange Server. So what we've got here is I've got a Windows 2008 server, R2, right? And you can go in here and go to the Exchange Man Management Console to take a look at that, all right? Um, also, I've got POP3 service working. So if you go to the services area window and you scroll down to Microsoft Exchange POP3, you'll see I've got that running. Okay, I've changed it to automatic and I've started it. Okay, and I've restarted a few times by playing with the settings. All right, so I'll open up my Exchange Management Console and talk a little bit about where the server's at right now. Okay, if I go to Client Access, I'm running uh, POP3 and you can see when the pop-up window shows up here let me scroll this I'm running pop3 the service is ready um, and I've got secure logon uh, as the logon method with transport layer security connection required so that's pretty nice alright so we've got that working and I've enabled pop3 on port 995 on my firewall device, on my network firewall device, my router. So it's allowing port 995 secure POP3 to come through. If I open up POP3, once again, you'll see that it's binding or listening on port 110 for regular POP3 and port 995 for secure POP3. Okay, and then to test that out, I've got a Windows Live Mail account here. This is not Outlook. This is Windows Live Mail. Okay, this is this is separate, right? So now I'm uh, just to explain. This is a remote desktop connection to my uh, mail server. Okay, so a remote desktop connection to my mail server right here, and this is from my regular computer. I've got a Windows Live Mail client here. All right, now I've configured it for my account. All right, um, and you can see that I've got PopMail working, so I can email to myself. So I'll just demonstrate that really quickly. Dan at dansgames.com PopMail test, right? And the reason this is a PopMail test is that it's going from a regular mail client. This is not an Outlook client. This is just a regular mail client, so it's using a POP3 protocol. Okay, so and I'll just say here, POP mail test, right? And I'll hit send, okay? And you can hear that it's actually come through. Uh, we don't see it in our inbox yet, so let's go to send and receive, and we'll click there, send and receive, and you can see that it'll show up. So I can send mail through POP. Also, if we look through our uh, browser window that I have here, you can see that I've also got Outlook uh, web app working. So webmail from Exchange also working. You can see there it is. There's our pop mail test. I've logged in to the Outlook web application here, right? That's pretty nice. And for that, if I go to the server, now I'm in the, the Exchange server. To set that up, all I had to do was go to Outlook web app and take a look at these settings here. And you may need to configure your external client over here to get that working, right? And so, and then it'll show you your external um, domain. If you double click on this, and it'll show you your external URL that you connect to for your webmail, right? And it shows you right there. And if you don't have something here, you're going to need to edit this, and or and also it helps to run this uh, configure external client. But regardless, that's where you set that up. Now, 